Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamoth.com. In this video, we're going to study how to subtract mixed numbers. And in this lesson, our mixed numbers have like fractional parts. This means that in each problem, the denominators are the same. The parts in the fractions, they're the same kind of parts, which is the easier situation of the two. If they were unlike fractions, then it would be a little bit more tricky to subtract. But children need to learn this first, okay? And I'm going to show you several different methods for the subtraction. They are just a little bit different from each other, not very much, okay? So let's get started. The first method we could call it renaming or borrowing because it resembles the normal borrowing algorithm in subtraction. Let's say we have 4 and 1 sixth, take away 2 and 5 sixths. Now we can try to subtract here in columns, so to speak. We subtract the whole numbers and then the fractional parts in their own columns. But as you notice, from 1 sixth you cannot take away 5 sixths. So what we will do is we will take one of the whole numbers and make it into sixths. And uh, let's take this. This is one of our whole pies. And so we divide it into sixths. If you want to use a visual model with the problem, that's what you need to do. You divide that into sixths, and after that you only have three holes left. And now you have six sixths here and one sixth here, a total of seven sixths. Okay? So we have renamed our numbers. And now we can subtract. 7 sixths minus 5 sixths is 2 sixths, and then 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay. We can do this same thing, even if the numbers are written here, the problem is written horizontally, you can do the same thing. So let's look at this example. We have 3 and 2 ninths. Need to take away 1 and 6 ninths. If you use a visual model, then over here you have to take one of the pies and divide it into ninths this time. And to do that, first divide it into thirds, and then each third into three parts. Mm, kind of like that. <laughs> okay, and now what happens is that we only have two left. Two whole pies, and then we have nine ninths and two ninths, which is eleven ninths. And then copy this number that's been subtracted. And now you do the same, you subtract the whole number parts. 2 minus 1 equals 1. And then 11 ninths minus 6 ninths. Or 11 minus 6, which is 5, and the parts are ninths. There. The next method, I call it subtract in parts. With the visual model, it's going to be actually identical looking as in here but it's written down a little bit differently if you write a second step for the problem. Three and two-fifths, and we take away one and four-fifths. In the visual model, it would be the same thing. You would just divide this into fifths, one of the pies here. And then you would cross out one whole pie and four-fifths. Take away these two-fifths first, and then two-fifths from here. But I wrote it down like this. Our number that we subtract from is the same. But then this here, this number is broken into parts. So that there's the one, and then two fifths to match this two fifths, and then one more two fifths. Okay? So then we subtract mentally. You have three and two fifths, take away one. What is left is two and two fifths. Then take away the two fifths. And what is left here at this point is just two, and then take away the last two fifths, so you're left with one and three fifths. There. And then this last method is similar to this one. I said earlier that all of these methods are pretty close to each other. And I don't have a good name for it, so I just put there the negative fraction method, because we will use, we will use negative fractions, okay? This method is best for students that already understand about integer subtraction. For example, they know how to subtract 3 minus 5 or 2 minus 7. It's kind of like having 
a number, an amount, and then you go into debt. You take away a certain number. And it goes like this, 5, 2 sevenths, minus 2, 6 sevenths. You subtract the whole numbers, 5 minus 2 equals 3. Then you subtract the fractions, like this, 2 sevenths, take away 6 sevenths. Think of 2 minus 6, 2 take away 6. If you have $2, you take away $6, you end up negative $4, owing $4. So 2 minus 6 is negative 4 sevenths. And we write it like this, negative 4 sevenths. And that becomes now a subtraction problem that we still need to solve. 3 minus 4 sevenths, but it is an easier subtraction problem than this one. It is, we have 2 and then 3 sevenths. Another example. 8 and 3 tenths minus 5 9 tenths. First go 8 minus 5 equals 3. And then here 3 minus 9 in the tenths. 3 take away 9 is negative 6, right? Negative 6 tenths. And now you do this subtraction, which is then 2 and 4 tenths. Okay, here I have then three more practice problems that I'm gonna solve one problem for each method, and while I'm solving them, you can think in your mind if you can come up with the same answer, you know, try to solve them while I'm solving. Here we are going to use the borrowing method, and we're going to take one from this seven, seven whole pies, so that leaves six whole pies, and the whole pie is going to be twelve twelfths, and there's one twelfth here already, so I get the total of thirteen twelfths here, now I can subtract easily. 6 minus 2 is 4, and then 13 minus 11 is 2, and they are 12. Now I'm going to subtract in parts. So I take my number 6, 3 eighths, and take away first the 2, and then 7 eighths, I broke it, break it into two parts so that I first take away whatever matches it is, 3 eighths, and then what's left, the 4 eighths. Okay. I write it down like this and then I start thinking part by part. 6, 3 eighths, take away 2. That would leave 4, 3 eighths. Then take away the 3 eighths too. So I'm left with 4. And then 4 take away 4 eighths. So leaves me 3 and 4 eighths. And lastly, the idea where we use the negative fraction. Okay, I just go 10 minus 6. And that is 4. And then, in the fractional part, 4 take away 6 is going to be negative 2 sevenths. And now I subtract these, so I will be left with 3 whole pies and 5 sevenths. 